Okay. Um, so I guess I just create a character. There's no like game options. Okay, so forms are, I guess these are like the classes sort of. The weatherer is an armored pilgrim of mastery scarred at Guard at storied journeys and vanguard storm rider. Born in the southern wind. And it's got talents. Okay, starting skills. Select one starting skill. You can right click on any skill for additional information. Gonna turn the game down a tiny bit. Um, okay, so this one is Tricks of the Messenger. Your feet are adept at avoiding pits and bumps. You walk slightly faster when traveling on roads. Mind of the Tactician. Your ward is increased when you are part of a group of travelers. Read strengths. You have the ability to sense the ward and force of others. Interesting. Oh, okay, there's explanations. Some of the like iconography, I know they're going for like a paintbrushy vibe. Some of it's a little hard to tell what that is. Like that's almost difficult to tell that it's a question mark. A form is a wanderer archetype used as a starting template to create a new character. You choose your chosen form determines determines a range of options and preset characteristics for your wanderer and can also inspire you to roleplay a certain way. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve classes to go through. Okay, jeez. So the first guy is like an armored pilgrim. Kind of looks like a samurai. The moss walker by common norms unfettered spirit deep ponderer of purposes carefree self-paced meanderer I don't mind that that sounds pretty good um what are these talents obviously like some of these classes you only have access to upgrade oh you can't see can you um down here there's like you can upgrade these talents but each class so far has different, I guess, um, strengths. So, if you care about that. So the Moss Walker's skills are affinity for water, part sea creature, your body rejuvenates if you engulf yourself in water long enough. Guiding Spark Shelter. This spell summons a sparkling guide that helps you find any form of shelter in the vicinity. A simple fireplace. You know how to make a blazing campfire using materials from your immediate surroundings. Interesting. I like that. The Enfolder. Kind and servile might. Generous guardian embrace. Responsible armor. Responsible armor of others. Okay. And they have Mind of the Tactician. Your ward is increased when you're a part of a group of travelers. Tricks of the Messenger, your feet are adept at foot. Okay, these are the same as the first class, they're just in a different order. Interesting. Then we've got the Regent, self-styled craftmaster, adept collector of expert learnings, sage authority. I wonder if these are like demo emotes. So like these are the three reactions you get. Happy, surprised, sad. Um, their tr skills are Mystic's Arms. This spell highlights the ground and draws a line on it for others to see. 
Oh, cool. So you can, like, guide people? Read hearts. You're able to read other travelers, finding out their personality and traits. Deep rest. You have an ability to meditate yourself into a deep, rejuvenating rest. Interesting. And we've got the Larker. Playful laughter of living. Lay about generous jester. The amused adventurer. Uh, their skills are conceal identity. You have the ability to hide your identity, appearing as unknown traveler to others. Align. This spell aligns the mundane and the spirit worlds, revealing the spirits of the dead for all to see. Or glinted lamp. This spell conjures a mystical lamp post that illuminates an area for some time. That's kind of cool. I guess I should find out what these talents do. Socialty is the measure of your social intelligence, your ability to garner feelings of fellowship from others. Physicality, the measure of your physical prowess, as well as your ability to intimidate or inspire by sheer might. Spirituality is the measure of your attunement to the spirit world and the strength of your perception in the magical fields. And mechanics are, this is a measurement of your understanding of mechanical devices how fluent you are in the language of logic related subjects interesting okay next is the ribboned magical made familiar and fair restful depth of minds communion furthermore belonging forevermore belonging their abilities are read hearts mystics arms and deep rest again so very similar to that other one. That's pretty cool. The Gleaner. A force of one. Non-beholden. Quick starter. Curious eye. They have the tactician, messenger, and read strength abilities. The Good Ward. Safety is innocence. True beats harmonious heart. Simple, undemanding purity. Cute. I love this art. Uh, the Dimmed, Widespread Wisdom's Journey, Wise Vagaries of Age, Sage Old Guide. They have the Guiding Spark, Shelter, Assemble Fireplace, and Affinity for Water. And there's the Veiled, Shrouded Whisper Step, Spell Cloaked, Veiled Dominion, Solitary Secret Ruler. Have the conceal lamp and align abilities. Pretty neat. The Murther, heart spoken song weaver, artful dreamer of gilded moments, and joyful mesmerizer. They have the align glinted lamp and conceal identity. I like that class. The crested, naturally becoming mastery. These sentences are very weird. Uh, captain of Dignified Duty or Sophisticated Splendor. Not or, but I think and. What is this down here? Character model. Oh, cute. So there's art and a character model. Okay. And then we're back to the weatherer. I mean, I kind of like the moss walker the best, I think. Just in like initial reaction to the brief descriptions. Um, so let's do spirituality as a bonus. I don't know what skill to pick. Select one starting skill. You can right click on any skill for additional information. Oh, passive. Okay. This spell summoned a sparkling guide that helps you find a shelter in the vicinity. Oh, there's a cost to it? Okay. You know how to make a blazing cooldown is 120 seconds. I don't know which one to pick. Um... I guess maybe we'll take Assemble Fireplace. That seems pretty handy, right? 
Um, okay, next. Background. Name. Are these just like random? Mardu. Wait, what? What color trio is Mardu? Red, white, black. Nope. Rumen. These are cute names. Given name and family name will appear to all members of any party of wanderers you join. Your name will stay with you and you cannot later be changed. Much power lies in a person's true name. Choose it with care. But I can't choose it, like write it out. Wait, are these random? Taku's cute. Taku Donut? You can put a nickname. Nickname is yours alone and cannot be seen by others. It can be changed or added later. Age, how many years you've wandered your life's road. Gender can help shape your character for roleplay purposes. But it is not required. Um, I guess I just put Taku so I know who I am. Okay, we've got upbringings. No person is completely blank, a completely blank canvas. Regardless of whether or not it is past, it is a past you cherish or despise. Your upbringing affects who you are. If that past is something that dictates your future as well, it's something that remains in your home, hands alone. So rural upbringing, growing up in the farmlands, you learn at an early age how to work the fields, care for livestock, and read the shifting seasons. I like that. Small town, learning to tend to your parents' vegetable garden, heed individual particularities of neighboring villagers. Urban crafter. Mystic. Outlaw. Ooh. Evil upbringing, that's pretty cool. Child of the Mountains. Impoverished, religious, born into slavery, and then back to rural. I kind of feel like Islander or... Uh, Outlaw is kind of cool, but Mystic... I feel like let's just do Islander, because that seems to fit Taku's, like... Oh, maybe I should do this, then. My affinity for water. And then I'm an islander. Personality traits. Okay. Hold on. I need to get my back scratcher. I'll turn my camera off so you don't have to watch me scratch my back. Um... Traits. You can select two positive traits and one negative trait. However, any trait... Hover over any trait to learn more. Okay. So some of these don't have gameplay effects. Um, I guess they're still developing this game, so. Oh. 
Should I like pick um Should I pick one that doesn't have a gameplay thing in there? I guess insecurity is accurate. Um, definitely empathic and... Practical? Cryptic, ooh. I think Venturesome is probably good. Additional, this is just, you can put this in there, okay. Hey. Appearance, hey. 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 There are voices, okay. Hey. Height, uh, let's do very tall. My skin is pretty dang pale. Oh, I do like the like greens though. Eye color. Hairstyle, ooh, fun. What is that? I was not expecting a character customization, that's for sure. Oh, cute. Whoa! Some garnet hair right there. This is so cool. Um, that's kind of neat. What is that middle mohawk? That negative mohawk? Okay, no hair. Whoa. Look at that. Just looks like a wild man. I mean, I guess something simple like that is fine. Oh my god, we got facial features. Amazing. That one's pretty dang good. This giant mustache one is good too with the big furry eyebrows. Um, yeah, I think that's cool. Um, can I not change my clothes? Oh. You start your journey with a handful of items in your pack and some worn equipment. You can right-click any item for additional information. Splintered bone with decoration. You suspect the bone's origin could be ashen folk? Askin folk. Leftover bread rolls. Okay. Jute guard handed down one generation too many. 
What are these? Ward Burden. Oh. Too small cloak? Okay. I mean, it looks fine. I want to change the color of it, though. Oh. That's cute. Um. Okay. How did your journey begin? I was on a journey at sea. I was traveling on land. I was captured. I can't remember. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. So depending on which combination of these you pick, you start in a different spot on the map. If you want to play with a friend, you got to pick the same ones. Oh, you can only do some... I get it. Okay, okay, okay. Doing C, I have to pick north, so let's proceed. Taku Donut. Look at that. The adventures of Taku begin. Enter world. Social traits can affect the game in various ways. Create your character with deliberate care. Now you tell me. Why didn't they give me that warning before? You are one of the many who have outstayed their welcome here. And the time for your dispatch has arrived. Move along. Walk fast. Hard voices and harsh hands drive you up a gangway up the into the dark, dank belly of a wooden hulk. Damn. Oh, there's more. The floor heaves, the roof creaks, and icy drops of water stab at you from cracks in the hull. Only the closeness of your fellow travelers saves you from the worst of the cold. The ashen sky and the rolling waves are impossible to tell apart. Food and sleep are rare and brief. Days pass without shape or number. Some journeys we choose. Others are chosen for us. Damn, I hope our ship doesn't crash. You oh, no. hobble down the gangway with a body stiff and aching. Reach. The air is warm and rich with spice. Oh. And you're greeted with kind gestures, for strangers here are welcome. You shoulder your pack and begin to count the ways you'll spend your freedom. Fun. I'm excited. Oh, okay. We're in. Um, resting. Even more prolific adventure. Even the most prolific adventurer must sometimes take time to rest. To, sim to rest, simply click the rest action icon and you will take the load off your feet. You will notice your stamina begin to recover right away. Uh, stamina. I'm assuming that's the second bar up here. Oh, yeah. Energy, stamina, life pedals. Uh-oh. Wait, no, go back. Basics. Walk by left-clicking on a destination. Run by right-clicking. Press space to come to a full stop. Take note that the faster you move, the faster you consume your white stamina bar. When you stop to rest, your stamina will begin to recover automatically. Clicking the middle mouse button will make you exclaim a voice call suitable as a vocal greeting as well as a call for attention to, from other travelers. To spot interactable objects um, and loot in your surroundings, you must hover over them with your mouse pointer. 
If an object lights up and your mouse pointer changes form, you can left click to interact with the object. The faster you move, uh, the harder it is for you to spot interactable items and loot your surroundings. Left clicking on interactable items in the world will trigger loot pickups of, or item specific interactions. Left click on NPCs to interact and or reveal their special interactions like talk, trade, pet, etc. Explore an NPC's special interactions by clicking the interaction icon that hovers above them. Clicking on your own action icons in the bottom right of your HUD, okay, down here, uh, makes you perform that action. Rest, for instance, will sit you down, speed up your stamina regen, and unlock certain skills only available when resting like brewing tea. All right. Picking up some goods from here, I'm the poor sod in charge of loading everything onto the ship. It's all supposed to go to the new foundry, but if you were to trade for some goods yourself, it would save me a lot of work. It's all going to be traded anyway. What? Did I just get XP for that? What's the difference between you or some new foundry marketplace, other than me breaking my back with all these crates? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I should trade. Lazy crew member. Small pouch. Best trade value 17. Trading. You can browse the NPC's inventory on the left side of the screen while on the right displays your own inventory. I think this is like one of the only games that does it that way. I feel like most games do. Yours on the left, NPC on the right. Um... To begin bartering, you can click and drag items you would like from the NPC's inventory down to the trade window. Okay, I see. Down here. Um, you then need to match the trade value of the NPC's items with items from your inventory. The scale indicator shows how fair the NPC finds your current offer. When the trade is complete, is acceptable to the NPC, the handshake icon will light up. Clicking it uh, will execute the trade. Ooh. Chunk of jade. Folded leaf with honey. Okay, so there's like edibles uh, and trade goods. So stuff that's like basically only good for trading. What are these? Battle stance, toggle hood rest okay i know my camera's gonna cover that but and down here we have backpack we have character sheet you gain knowledge from exploring braided shore and interacting with everything that it has to offer increasing your knowledge level gives you extra knowledge points to spend this is your character page where you may describe your background your outward appearance and the experiences that shape who you are Take note that other travelers may have skills enabling them to read your biography details. Okay. What is this? Background, appearance, personality. Okay. This is your skill book. Attack, flee affinity for water. Okay. Regent's pouch. So this is all of the herbs and stuff I currently have on me. There's a map. Um, oh, wow. I don't really know where I'm trying to go, do I? And then we've got screenshot, oh, nice. And then options, okay. Options, graphics. The UI is a pretty good size. Graphics preset. Wait, why can't I go higher than low? Oh, 
Why can't I move this? Oh, it's just default or low. Those are my options. Uh, V-Sync, sure. Apply. Yes. Return. So do I talk to all these people? Don't ask me. I'm a stranger to this land as much as you are. Find some food, maybe. I don't even know what I asked. Shh, keep your voice down. I don't want my shipmate over there noticing we're talking. I grew up not far from here. As soon as you may, you should head west. When the woods begin to clear, turn to the s southward. Keep going until you reach the fishing village of Mir. Speak to the steward of the tea house. I know she has a soft spot for tragic life stories. She will take your plight to heart and give you a free meal at least. Wind's blessing on your path. So go west. Oh my god. Oh, Mir, way down there. Oh my, oh my god. Okay. That's large. Okay, something happened when I went. Okay, for some reason, this looks nicer than the other one. Old Traveler. Some of us are going to a city called Crossings. The girl next to me on the voyage kept talking about it. I can't see her here. I wonder what happened to her. Oh no. Fancy traveler. Well, we can't just stand here the rest of our lives. True. Finally, solid ground beneath my feet. I heard one of the sailors call this land Braided Shore. The air feels somehow welcoming. refugee we'll get moving inland as soon as we are ready go on ahead no point in waiting on us i have a few things to attend to still ship spotting fisher welcome to the braided shores kalim i was fishing when i saw your ship come over the waves and as soon as i stepped as soon as you stepped off the boat i caught a big one you must bring good luck why don't you help yourself to one of my other catches i've caught too much to bring home anyway Oh. How do I do that? Hello. Mm -hmm. Oh. She just gave it to me. That's so nice. Uh... Base trade value 20. Okay. Your reward. Okay, these are all negative effects. Um, lack armor proficiency. You're wearing gear that requires training to use. The benefits your gear could bestow is currently minimal. You're hungry. You feel the need to eat something. Your energy and endurance are draining fast. Tired. You're worn out and feel the urge to rest. Your energy is draining faster and your movement is slow. You have suffered hardship and misfortune and would benefit from some care and attention. Well, I like the idea of um, going to that tea lady. I think that sounds like a good adventure to make. Um, items are stored in your backpack. Some items can be equipped by dragging it to the appropriate slot on your equipment page. Right-clicking an item will display its details and any actions connected to it. For instance, consume, learn, pocket, etc. Equipping yourself with a backpack will multiply your carrying capacity. Some objects have pockets where you may hide additional items. Cute. Um, contrary to items in your backpack, those stored in your pockets are hidden from NPCs who would rob you. Oh. 
Some items, if carried on your person or in your backpack, may solicit reactions from NPCs. Often beneficial, it is wise to watch out for them. Each item has a trade value that tells you its trade worth, not counting things like supply, demand, and individual traders' biases. They have like a whole living marketplace system. Um, acquiring goods at lower price and offering them at a likely higher price will most likely be your primary way to acquire wealth. No matter your life path, getting comfortable with bartering should be considered a priority. Good to know. This fish is worth $20. The sales guy here. Oh, cute. It's like a whole list of... Uh, little emotes down here. Oh. Oh. Some complicated ones. Oh. A doggo. Oh, what's that? Seashells? Nice. What do those do? Um... Backpack is B. Okay. Wait, what? Where do my seashells go? Oh, are they in my... Yeah. Chalky, many-colored cups infused with raw essence of water and the stormy sea. Okay. Skills. There are a multitude of skills for you to discover and learn on your adventure before you have decided to learn a skill. It appears as a skill card item in your inventory and may be used to trade if you choose. Right-clicking on a skill card gives you a detailed description of it and also displays a learn option. Learning a skill consumes the skill card permanently and adds it to your skill book. Many skills are connected to wins, and through, and though nothing stops you from learning skills associated with any wind, skills related to your form's wind affinity are less costly to memorize. A skills associated wind is shown on the skill description. Actions are mundane, permanent skills that have no wind affinity connected to them. How do I know what wind affinity I have? Um, there are four common types of skills available to learn. Knots, tees, abilities, and passives. Some skills require specific regents to use. Others may be used only under certain circumstances or require cooldown before becoming usable again. Regardless of skill type, every skill added to your skill book has a knowledge point value or KP attached to it. The knowledge point cost to have a skill memorized is shown underneath each skill icon in your skill book. Note that a f few skills, most commonly action skills, cost zero KPs, making them free to memorize. You will begin with... Oh, I see. You will begin with your, your adventures with only one knowledge point. As you gather experience on your travels, you will soon earn more. Each new level you reach will grant you an additional knowledge point. Thus, at level 5, you will have 5 KP, and at level 10, you will have 10, etc. Your unassigned and max total KPs are displayed at the bottom of your skill book. Okay. I have 0 of 1 knowledge point. Unmemorize. Okay, I already have that memorized, so that's using my 1, I guess. By choosing how to invest your KP, you allow yourself to choose to specialize by having only a few KP costly skills memorized or to play more of a jack of all trades and focus on higher number of skills with lower KP cost. You may at any time unmemorize a skill to free up KP, but this is a time consuming process and may have further temporary re repercussions as described in the section honing your skills. Interesting. Some skills can be honed and will evolve with time and use. Right-click on a skill to display its full description and look for honing notches below the skill icon. By using the skill often, 
or simply having it memorized for longer periods, you will automatically hone the skill, making it more effective over time. Take note that when you unmemorize a skill, all the skill's honing notches are lost. Oh. It is therefore wise to be mindful when re reordering your skill build. Not all skills can be honed, however, so when you need a temporary reordering of your skills, unmemorizing skills that lack honing notches may be the best option. Interesting. Oh, this has honing notches. Okay, but well, this is a passive ability, right? So I don't actually have to... Whoa! Hey. Where did everybody go? I want to submerge myself in water. Everybody just dipped. I was reading the tutorials and they just left. Okay, how far in do I have to go? Oh, what's that? Wire not message? You cannot read the Velen language. Oh. Wait, where am I going? Where am I going? That's a very good question. travel by road or do I want to just meander Ooh, mushrooms are good okay I can't see How do I know? tell what direction I'm going oh shoot I wandered quite a big distance okay oh this is my current oh, okay I get it this is my very current map and I'm about to hit the wall there that will send me to the brim mm, okay I think I get it. That looks like something. It's not something. I really need to eat soon. I need to eat something. travel by the road or do I want to wander oh, there's stuff over here
feathers. I bet you those are useful. Unless it's gonna look like the bird's mad at me or something. High quality jade lump. Bag filled with gravel. Okay. I feel like... Oh wait, my um... My coat didn't have any pockets in it, did it? I feel like I just don't want to have jade in my backpack. I have to engulf myself in water to get that. But it like doesn't want me to go farther out. Is locked tight, only mechanical skill and deft hands will entice it to open. I don't understand what that was saying, but uh. that require considerable effort, often requiring you to employ the help of others. Oh, I needed three people. I needed three pips worth of the gear icon. Oh, uh -huh, that's cool. I don't... Maybe it's just because it's the open water, it won't let me go up to my neck. I'm just collecting seashells, I don't know what for, but I like them. What's this? Street vendor's bag, pale leather armbands. Oh dang! Wait, street vendor's backpack. Pocket. Put my jade in there. Do I want to put my bag filled with gravel, a little pocket sand? Pale leather armbands. Uh. Arm. Nice. Is this deep enough? The boy's having a dream. Um, okay, so I don't think it's going to let me, oh, what are those? There's fishies. I don't think it's going to let me go in this darker water part. Yeah, it pretty much stops you right away. Maybe I didn't pick the best skill.
I don't even know. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is the path, the road. And I've just been walking along the water. More feathers. I mean, I, this is great. Feathers and stuff over there. Oh, what's this? A berry tree. Acorns. Hey. Hype. too, but I'm excited about it. Oh, they're a uh, regent. Your regent pouch holds blah blah blah. To investigate which regents a skill requires, right click on the relevant skill card. Okay. Acorns. Um. Oh, okay. There's an experience bar. I didn't see that for a second. Um, where's my skills? This one? Assume the battle stance, inviting everyone nearby to accept the challenge to fight. Yikes. Do you think this is the type of game where, like, I want to completely clear the map? Like, should I go back and walk the forest path that I didn't take? Probably not, huh? Hungry. Okay, well, let's travel south to Mir, and then... We'll have a rest. Maybe we'll get uh, that free meal from the tea lady. Oh my god, this is so cool looking. Oh, what's that? There's another one there. Gotta look out for the little sparkles of light. The stuff you can pick up, like sparkles. Can I submerge myself in this water? No. Engulf yourself in water long enough. Haunted headstone. Oops. with extra speed. Is there a hide show UI backspace? Okay.
fairy? Station, Bond Not Square, Mere Trading House. Oh shoot, do we remember where? Singing Bridge. Do we remember where that guy said that the lady was? field cover whoa 166 sturdy flame torch Thunder and lightning, have you been in battle? Just cross the river to the south and you'll find the bridge keeper tea house, but a stone's throw to the east. Tell Mitna I sent you. If she charges you anything for the meal and hot brew, tell her I will cover the cost. Oh, okay, so I have to go to the, the bridge to the south? This bridge here? Craftsmanship is true home of heart. Bitter bridge builder. Hurt are you? Tough luck. Now if there had been a bridge straight across to the, here to the tea house, you'd be all right. But as it is, you have to wade your bruised butt across the water, possibly getting some sump leeches stuck to your cheeks on the way. with this okay across the rip bridge and then go east Duelist warden. We see all, nomad. I have teachings to share. Should you wish to learn how to fight effectively in armor, I myself am wearing armor at the moment. I invite you to draw against me, and then I may prove the value of the teachings I can bestow. I don't want to fight you. We see all, nomad. Oak wood practice sword. Blade Master's tree training, weapon proficiency. Oh. Armor proficiency. That's that's cost a lot of money. Master, compassionate tea house owner. Oh. Take the weight off of your legs while I fetch something. No 
knows a lot about the Dandelion Temple. I imagine you might want to pay that place a visit. Oh, wow. You were protected from the weather and wind. This guy? Who am I supposed to be talking to? Headed for the temple, are you? Pardon me for assuming, but you do look the sort. If you already came the right way, there's a ferry at the harbor here that will take you all the way to the trading outpost of Bat Saha. From Bat Saha, all you have to do is head south to find the temple. That is, if that's where you're headed, of course. So do I just like sit over here and rest? Wait, I'm not sheltered over here? Do I need to sit over here? Effect cards. Effect cards show the detail of temporary penalties or boons from which are affecting you at the moment. Effect cards are displayed on the top left. Okay. That I get. So if I rest. Wait, why can't I? I thought it said I would be given like other abilities. so funny. I saw something sparkle over here behind my camera. Uh, okay. Oh, this has a pocket slot too. Dandelion Temple? Guy. There's 
soul is the compass to your elevation. Oh. That's it. Free cup of tea. What's this thing? <laughs> I kind of wish my visual thing changed. When I like changed items. Soil worms, nice. I'm hungry again already. Um, can I just eat this? Oh. I guess I can. I guess I can. Talk to the struggling fisher. Hey. Got a big one on the hook. All I can do is just hold it in place. I need some more muscle to help me pull it. Hey. Uh, okay. I don't... I don't see a way of helping you. I'm sorry. Shine night or day after work is always play. Okay. Seems to be getting a little jittery. I don't know if that's that smugglers hide concealed boats all along the Verve coast. Oh. Traveling hunter? Some say there's a group calling themselves the Halzenists Hal that are vying to get one of their number into the next Casa Council. moment of your time. We are representatives from the Casa New Shipping Company. We are travelers 
Traveling the land looking for sailors and ship officers to crew our latest business venture. Our proud merchant vessel, the Golden Whale, is currently being laid down in Casa. The company believes that as soon as the blockade is lifted, our ship will be ready to take on new crew and material in preparation for her maiden voyage. Have you any seafaring experience? Are you able-bodied and sound of mind? Do you suffer from seasickness or claustrophobia? Agoraphobia, thalassophobia, or xenophobia? Measures you with eyes. Hmm. Takes a series of mental notes. Thank you, Wanderer. Farewell. Did I pass your test? Esoteric Union Officer? As a representative of the Mystics Union, please let me welcome you to Braided Shore. If my second sight does not mislead me, I can sense that you have some magic in you. Don't be shy to ask a Union member for advice on mystical topics. Riven Leaf University has three separate faculties of magic, arts, knot binding, brew mastering, and wind voicing. Each art has a different requirement and none are exclusive. A person that can be talented in several of the mystic arts comes down to a mix of natural born affinity, devotion, and personal taste. Cool. It's a food merchant. Concerned lighthouse keeper. Oh no. Sorry, I saw a shiny rock. A sick bag. can't read the knots. Why are you concerned? I run this lighthouse and I'm trying to teach my daughter to do the same. In the night, the beacon must never be allowed to fail. Visiting ships in our own night crabbers depend on our light, as do sea vessels from the storm. I can't help you be not concerned. No, fairy's down there. Well, I wonder if it costs money. I would like to learn how to fish, please. Greetings. Feast your eyes on the freshest seafood anywhere in the land. A dried snack, a smoked meal, a whale feast. We'll stand ready to supply your needs. Oh, fishing rod. Four hundred and seventy two dollars. Damn. Fishing is expensive. Take the boat. Go to the Dandelion Museum Temple. skills appear in the skill items in your inventory they must be first learned to be added to your skill book and then memorized from there God this is 
seems like a busy place. I feel like I'm not doing enough adventuring, though. As much as I want to talk to all the people in this town. Those who travel in a group automatically form a party over time. Its members find strength in each other. Oh, there's another person there. Certain skills, action, and spells depend on... Okay. Cute. Chestnut shells. Oh, it's just a regent. Hey, where's that guy going? Got a cool walking stick. Okay, the guy told me to go south, right? Oh, there it is. So small. Oh, what is this? Temple Guardian. Oh. Welcome, Dandelion. I am Raman, one of the guardians of the temple. By the act of your entry, you have now tied your home knot to this sanctuary. You can always return here for safety by binding a simple knot spell. The only regent needed is common Dandelion. However, I must warn you, Wanderer, this spell not only... This spell only works if you are close to a Nomad's Rest. Nomad's Rest wind shelters can be found throughout Braided Shore. Find a Nomad's Rest and you can find your way back here. Now step further into the temple. Ran wishes to speak with you. Oh, level two. Experiencing the world broadens your vision, deepens your understanding. As you gain experience, you will level up each step of your enlightenment allows you to memorize more skills, increasing your knowledge points. Cool. Oh, 
What is this? Magic is a language, one that those of my kind speak fluently. You, however, must strive to learn the basic languages and grammar of making and combine that knowledge with the physical rituals of brewing tea and trying, tying knot spells. A simple dandelion that grows this on this isle is all that's needed to bind the Kellum's knot, but more advanced skill requires more precise knowledge of regents. There lives a deep lander on the main island who can tell you how to research for regions in the wild. Give her this flower and she will know that we sent you. Look for her in the western parts. Her song can often be heard there. Farewell. Oh, wow. So cool. So I just need to gather as many dandelions as I can so that... Um, to this place if I ever need to. I shall channel your emotions to mend your wounds. Cool. Where'd my buddy go? Oh, there you are. Hey. I want a walking stick.
has little friends just looking around. More chestnut shells. Remorseful spell weaver. Oh. Here, won't you help me find my husband? He's hiding somewhere around here, close by. Gonna keep going west. I don't. I want to help this lady find her husband. Find your own dang husband. More shells. Suppose you have two gears. Sturdy hemp rope, small jade cube, not from someone's brother, history students practice now. I need to learn how to read knots. Why am I even carrying this in my left hand? Just a wet sack of shells. I'm trying to the guy said that we would hear her song. This is the deep lander. I see that you have been given a temple keeper's blossom. I find it a chore to banter with strangers, but with you I will gladly speak for a moment. You might have already noticed regents in nature along your travels. Gathering them requires a keen eye, knowledge of where to search, and patience. I can teach you your eye to spot regions needed for magical purposes, magic brews and spell knots. Use the same, many of the same regions 
Jade algae grows in streams and lakes, for instance, while dandelions can be found on sun-soaked meadows. Knots are not only used for binding spells, knots are also the traditional written form of the Velen language. Learning it can be costly, but I know of a teacher that might help you for, for free. However, he is very strict. He has a house in the upper city. Look for a scholar wearing a, wearing a yellow coat and oh, Remember to greet him the old-fashioned way by sitting down, or he will most likely ignore you. Berries. So, my energy lasts a pretty long time. I was kind of worried that it was going to be one of those games where you're always eating stuff. Something's happening. I kind of like that the music is sparse. If he doesn't want to come, that's fine. Tangled plants, oh no. <laughs> Not that I'm in like a huge rush or anything, I just uh I'm kind of progressing on my own, and this random person joined me, so I thought it'd be nice if I kind of, like, let them tag along or tried to direct us a little bit. I'm prospecting for rainstones. I've studied long and hard on the gravel-strewn beaches of Point Bira. I can now recognize a rainstone at ten arms length away. My dedication is finally paying off. Nice. Good for you. Am I running out of space? Uh, let's put 
put a fish in my backpack, some bread, some mushrooms. Soil worms are edible, eh? And some berries. How that guy got a walking stick, how long he's been playing. Guess that lady didn't teach me how to see any stones. Life petals are what keep you alive in this world. You lose a life petal each time you lose all of your energy. Beware of losing all of your life petals. Take good care of yourself on your travels. That's nice. Oh, look at this intimidating guy. Do I have like a journal or anything? Armor proficiency, practice sword. I don't know if I want to get rid of these cords yet. Until I can read them, right? sword. I'm looking for, oh, a guy in a yellow coat. Uh, they told me to sit. Here to visit the old man. I am undergoing exams to be elevated to the rank of candidate at the moment. I still have some tests left to do. I wish I felt confident in the past. The old man is old fashioned, even by the standards of old folk, and his demands courtesy from his students, or he won't even so much as look at you. In the old days, not sitting down waiting for your superior to address you was considered very rude. Okay, so I need to sit down next to him and then wait. Oh. 
talk. What have we here? A stray Kaleem flying into my house. And a well-mannered one at that. How nice. He must be here to learn to read Velen writing. Am I right? That requires discipline, time, and love, don't you know? Are you quite ready? Still sitting comfortably? It'll be quite a lot to absorb in one sitting, so let us begin. Uh, good. Now for the rest. Interesting. Am I supposed to be, like, soaking this in? Oh my god, excuse me. Rolalolo. Rolalolo. Mm. Hey, uh... Sissent? Sit... See, sent. Sorry, I didn't see your message. I hope that wasn't too long ago. Apologies. Let me give you my notes from the lesson. No problem. Well, I hope you're doing all right. Um, I noticed my chat is not here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Doing fine. That's good. That's good. Yeah, this is my first time playing this game. I just wanted something chill. And I've been really excited about this game. I've been sort of waiting um, for it to be in full release. And then they sent me a code. Uh, you need to learn the skill from the lesson note in your inventory, then memorize the skill from your skill book. After that, you'll have a good grasp on reading Velen writing. Now fly away, little dandelion, and don't forget to read the sign on your way out to test your new skill. Uh, so yeah, I just decided to finally play it. Okay, learn Velen tongue. Awesome. And then I have to go to my skills sheet. Bellin tongue learnt. Keen eye learnt. Oh, okay. I... These are all passive. I thought I could just use them from here, but I guess I have to actually learn them. Ah, uh, cool. Now I can finally read these. Hi, Scholar Hemet. Do not disturb. Wait, does that mean I can read my knots now? Oh, yes. Okay, I can. Uh, southwestern wind, southwestern spring, southwestern blow, southwestern flow. Okay. A single knot adorning this string, spelling out the word S. Rulers of the Halzon dynasty, first monarch... Oh, it's just list of rulers, okay. Megan owes Lijana 20 chicken eggs. Damn, Megan. I know that you do not approve, but she is homesick. It won't take more than a few months. Damn. Stop thinking about those woods. Hi, friend. Been looking. You look like the adventuring sort. Ever been to Charwood Forest? We've just been there. A place of beauty and terrors, in equal measure. Charwood kicked us around quite a bit this time, so we're hanging back here. Um, for a bit to get back into shape. Many old places. The full release is definitely going to be a while away. Usually I'm patient, like, I was going to be fine waiting for the full release to come out. Um, but I just need, I wanted something chilled. It's, it's been a rough few weeks, 
and I'm feeling really burnt out, so I just wanted to kind of chill out and play something slow. And this has been really exciting and fun so far. Many old places there and woodland places like some forest queen snapped her fingers to conjure them once upon a time. We're going, we'll be going back one of these days. Old place, old places hold old treasures. That's what they say about charwood. If you'd like some adventuring advice from some folk who have been around a few laps, just speak with me or Ghost Walker here. There's plenty to discover as is currently. Yeah, I mean, we've been going for two hours or so, and it's pretty neat. Which one of you is Ghost Walker? Oh, this one. A friend approaches. Have you just arrived? Uh, are you heading out on some adventure? We had quite a rough time in Charwood Forest to the south. It's a beautiful place and it has unveiled secrets to match its haunted loveliness. We kind of overstayed our welcome as we didn't prepare enough to meet the knight there. I would recommend scouting the place out in the daylight before going hunting for nightly treasures if I was you. Also in the day you'll see better to mark out places of interest on your map. That's something I haven't really been doing. I hope you are not fool enough to travel without a full set of maps where you're going. My bruises make me sound overly protective, perhaps. Come back again and talk to me some more. Me and my friend Fingers here are happy to share some of what we've learned about wayfaring and treasure hunting. No point of speaking to Sledge. He's shy around strangers. Oh. Man, that was something. If you seek deeper knowledge of magic, I know someone that can instruct you for a price. I sense that you are not ready to meet her quite yet, however. Return to me when you have garnered some more life experience, and I will reveal to you where you may find this mystic teacher. Oh. Uh, mystic teacher location giver need more XP I had a friend for a little while and he just uh, they kind of just like didn't keep up with me and so now they left and I was sad because I liked having a friend one that just has the letter S on it. Oh. An inner light fills your spirit with energy. Click to cancel. I'm assuming you have some experience playing this game. Uh, C. Sinet. C. C. Sinet. How do you pronounce your name? I'm curious. Oh my god, where am I going? Hi. Synth. Okay. What's up, kid? Street kid. There's always tricks to play in the streets. I don't know why I read that like an old-timey news announcer. There's always tricks to play. <gasps> Dog. Dog. Love the dog more. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, look at these armors and stuff. Fine armors. Oh, you're a visitor. Armor vendor. Hello. Hello. Just point at your desire. Don't be shy now. 
Whoa. My bartering is so bad. I have plenty of experience. Nice. Um... Why is it so bad? I don't, I need to learn how to use, I need more training. There was a trainer in the last town I was in, but. Oh wait, that guy that I bought the, uh, sword off of. So this person wants to talk to me? Seem to get around a lot better than the rest of us. I need a message delivered to the Western Verve Junction. Yes. Wait. Yes. What happened? I didn't get your message. Where did they go? Oh, here we go. Good on you. Okay. Deliver the message to the Junction Steward Assistant in person. You can't miss him. He will be glued to the Junction Steward on the dusty gazebo. Good luck. Where was that? Oh, Ver... Vervin? Oh, it's in Western Verve. Okay. Oh, I'm on like a weird little island. So I need to take that ship to Western Verve Junction. Okay, let me deliver message. To to uh oh assistant. At the dock? Is that, can I read it again? Nothing new on the Western Outpost. Tensions between smugglers and the pirates on the coast slowly intensifying. Uh oh. Locals and travelers strained by the coroner's blockade. Many seek alternative routes to Casa and New Foundry with little to no success. Hmm. Doesn't tell me, uh, what does that, what does that mean? What does it mean? All right, okay. Now that I have that note written down, I'm gonna continue to look at old carpet merchant. Why would I want a carpet? Oh, because you can like buy cheap and then sell high somewhere else? God, this game is so cool. I need to find that trainer dude again. Verve Jewelry, okay. I, I saw a guy with a walking stick, or my, my 
my friend that I traveled with for a short time had a walking stick, and I really want one. I don't know why. Ambitious adventurer. Why are you spitting over there? Rude. Hidden entrance to what? I spent ma my savings on weapons, armor, and equipment to adventure below ground. Not only that, as a former factory engineer, I can rely on my technical skills to handle locks, traps, and contraptions. That will surely await us down in the dark. Well, now I kind of want to re-roll. He's dropping on us? You're too late. Can't beat us to the treasures of the mountain secrets. Oh. What have you heard about the treasures hidden in the ravine under bridges in Char Cape Passage? I don't know. I don't even know where Char Cape Passage is. Char Cape Passage. Hidden treasures under mountains. Okay, let's go this guy. It's so good. I love it so much. Um, weapon proficiency. These are really expensive. Like, my total trade value is 71. see if I could find anyone selling a walking stick. What is this? Hungry. Oh. There's a bunch of knots there. Greetings. Sacred garden flower. Almost tame barbed lizard missing. If you spot Bruno, back away slowly. Avoid eye contact. It will soon have Bruno recaged. Okay. The finest curl orchard lumber for sale. Buyers in bulk, please inquire at the general store. The Elden Tombs are currently closed to any non-cult members. Okay. Any substantial news on the possible whereabouts of secure free union leader eligible for a reward? Seek out Syrah Bat Saha. That's where I am, right? Traded for gold, any amount, no matter how small of wind. Uh, afflicted grain from crossing wanted. Tie your monogram and await my contact. Oh shoot, level three, baby. I don't have any need for any knowledges right now. No, knowledges? No, knowledge I? Oh, it's the mystic leaders. Oh, you said that you're saying the same thing as the last person. Why did I learn something? Sick bag. Hell yeah. What's this? Esoteric merchant? What are you selling? Oh, a walking stick! Knot patterns. 
Ooh. Rare palm knot. Why would I buy it if I can just read it? Fireworks Jade Guys. Spirit Invitation Deer. When this knot is unbound, a spirit deer is summoned to accompany the knot binder on their journey. Oh my god. These are cool. Uh, when this knot is loosened, the knot binder's appearance is altered in mysterious ways. Look at the prices on these. Fireworks. That's fun. Um, okay, well, I want the walking stick. Can I sell these? Do they, do they matter? Here, you can have my sick bag. Don't sell the warden's report. Okay, I wish I could see my... I could see my pockets from there. I have a jade piece. This is my consumables. Maybe I should put my worms in there. Whoa. Fifty-six exactly. Nice. Okay. I don't know if I need to keep these knots, but I'm going to sell this one. Because I really want... Oh, wait. I still have my bag of shells. Wet sack of shells. Pocket slots. Oh, that's why I would want to have it. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Sweet. Now I have a walking stick. Look at that. Hey. Look at me go. Okay, now I need to figure out which boat. Wait, what's this over here? Oh my god. Sundries and general goods. Thrifty shopkeep. Okay. A cane. Long lantern. Bring this wreath of jasmine flower carrying a scent of warmer seasons. Flowering ash of pe ash peg for lutes. Goat's bell. Assemble fireplace. Oh, I want that. How much are you willing to give me for this? 102? Learning from these teachings will enable the student to, to know how to improvise a simple wind shelter to provide cover from the elements. 
I mean, I feel like I should take both of these. But I also want a lantern? What does a goat's bell do? A small bell which used to hang from the neck of a grazing goat. Similar bells are used on all manner of cattle to help shepherds in their... Oh. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Oh, come on. If I can oversell, you should let me undersell. Does this act as a walking cane? Am I just being dense? I'm gonna do it anyway. We're learning. We're learning. Okay, so which boat do I want to take? I don't think I want to take this top one. I think I want to take the bottom one. Should I keep my lantern on me at all times? Okay, I'm gonna learn these. Like, is there any reason not to have this on? I guess I don't need it, right? I don't know. This has stopped raining. It was raining for so long. Okay, you. Hello? What is this boat to, though? So we'll just wait and find out. Oh, I can't believe it's only Wednesday. I feel like I've just been getting my butt kicked. It's just such poor sleep and the monsters rumbling. Ooh. Okay, boat. slots because I changed the backpack. Is there a pipe slot? Sick. I don't have shoes. There's an instrument slot too? Damn. I'm excited. Okay, these are all free too.
Just some good old fashioned waiting. Oh. I can't tell if that's boat noise or just water on the shore noise. I'm sad that my friend left me. Oh, I hear a boat. Yeah. Say where it's going. I feel like this is the where I got off the boat. When I first got here. Harry for mirror. Okay. I'm glad I didn't stay on that boat. Jeez. The game is a little choppy. Tell me where you're going, please. Yeah, that's where I want to go. I got a quest. Also, what was that forest those ladies were talking about? Wood forest. Untold nighttime treasures. Be careful at night. Let's go. Combat you can attack whenever you wish by left clicking your attack action, but oh. We're here. Shiv. Damn. I still wish my outfit changed when I changed my clothes, but... Um... 
shivs such as this would easily easy to craft on one's own, which should be an urgent need to stab a rise. It's convenient to have one ready to use. Can I put it in my main hand? No. Has to be in my off hand? Okay. What is with the groaning? I should have got the mechanical skill. Um, okay. She said to talk to the assistant. A tree. Nice. A fireplace. What? What's that? Stray cat. Cute. Said he would be near the boat, the dock, didn't he? Okay, good chat. I guess like any of this could be considered near the dock, right? What was this? Dash. That's I was not expecting that. Hello? Take note, due to Casa being closed for travelers, the only station stop at this time is at Crossing Station. Passengers traveling with luggage or cargo will be asked to alight and unload their baggage at Crossing. On behalf of the entire Rail Workers Association, we apologize for the deplorable state of the current service. Yeah, run right through that train. Oh, Junction Steward. Is that who I need to talk to? If you require priority class travel, I can offer you a train or ferry pass to trade. Hmm. I should have taken more care to write down exactly what I needed to do.
Whoa. Yeah, free sandals. Coagulated engine oil? Gross. It makes a gross sound, too. Jeez. Hell yeah. Is this actually gonna give me like the damp? Nope. <laughs> Bag size plus zero, pocket size two. Well, this has five pockets in it, so. Screw that. F broken forest souls. Wait, is that a minus? I'm not gonna wear sandals that give me a minus. See, my cloak didn't even change when I changed it. Who the heck am I supposed to talk to? Assistant? He will bite you if you try to trade unfairly, but I've never seen him do it. Um, models don't change. While it would be nice, it does help recognize fellow travelers' wind direction very quickly. Oh. And therefore, what they might bring to a group. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. By wind direction, you mean like their... class or whatever? Wait, why can't I talk to these people now? Wait, that was just highlighted a second ago. What is happening? It was there, I swear. I get that. It would be nice, though. See, at the moment, all the tax and trade goods transfer here. Me and my assistants keep careful tabs on all the outgoing junction. Private merchants charter our services to ferry their goods across the land. But the greatest bulk of cargo consists of tax goods that is shipped to us from local tax wardens all across the Southlands. The tax cargo, earmarked for tax rebate distribution, then gets sent to the recipient communities. All tax surplus. Okay. I need to know, where's your assistant? Also, I saw a shiny thing over here. Chin band and a roll of jute. Why are you grunting so much, lady?
What is happening? Okay, I can't click on those people. Interest you in some lost and found items. Uh, yeah, but now I can't click on you again, so. There we go. Circle back. Interesting, okay. Uh. Just want to like double check and make sure that. Missing an assistant somewhere. Oh, blueberries. Western Harvest Route. But I need to find this person. Savella Leaf. Ooh. <laughs> Just gonna double check, make sure. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind a hint. Pretty sure I'm looking for an assistant. Am I just in the wrong spot? Oh, what are you doing? You don't have to walk through the water, you goof. Oh, you're in the right spot. You certainly have seen him. Oh, okay. Wax cube. Maybe it's this guy. He doesn't want to talk to me. Nope. Still the same stuff. Good day. It's got to be one of these people in blue, right? These are all like dock hands. I 
need to stop running around. I'm burning through my stamina. It's the guy, but his symbol was behind the other one's bubble. The guy sitting down. This one. Ah. Aha. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'll make sure it is delivered to the proper authorities. Beautiful. And I got a thank you note. Piece of simple string tied into a knot of gratitude. A small memento of a good... Well, what the heck am I supposed to do that with that? Oh, a nice little purse. Uh, okay. So I guess now... My only real... Next thing I want to do is, uh... Go to that forest. Mustard, hell yeah. Um, yep. Nighttime darkness drains your energy. Make sure you bring a source of light or a suitable knot to keep your shadows at bay. Cool. We have not experienced any night so far. Oh my god, okay. What is that cute little hut? I think we want to go to this one. We want to go this way. Let's just follow the road. Let's see where life takes us. It's the whole point of this adventure, right? Fish me? I want to learn how to fish. Heap high the farmer's wintry hoard. Heap high the golden corn. Okay, you're just fishing, speaking in riddles? Get out of here. Can I submerge myself in this water? Oh, I have a question, Sint. Um, I have, I took this passive ability as my starter ability, and, um, I haven't really been able to figure out how to trigger it. I haven't found a body of water that will let me, um, go up to my head. It says engulf yourself, and the image has, like, the person almost fully submerged. Is 
That's as deep as water go. Oh. So it should count. Okay. Active until cancelled. Maybe you have to stand still. Let me try it. I might just try like running out some of my energy. Oh no, because I need... Is it the healing one or the hiding? It's the healing one. Supposed to get plus five, plus 75 energy. Active until cancelled. cow also I really want to learn how to fish it's like my favorite thing to do in video games I don't know I've played everything but an east character so I've never had that one. Oh, okay all good just thought I'd ask no pressure. Oh, there's people over here. What are you guys doing? Garden balsam. Cartographer? You're speaking to Strom of Braided Shore Cartography Institute. I wonder if we can be any assistance to you. I'm afraid due to current CASA blockade. Uh, I've been forced to work without access to our map making workshop. This means I have little new map information or updates to offer our subscribers. Yo, I thought this game had no in-game purchases. Once CASA reopens, I will however be happy to trade for any maps or geographical documentation you might have to offer. But by doing so, by doing so, you will benefit all travelers in Braided Shore subscribing to use our superior maps. Okay. Points at their superior. Fine. Yeah, I'm. I really want to learn how to fish. I found a fishing rod at one of those vendors, but it was like hundreds of dollars. It was like 500 bucks or something. There's a fisher. I'm hoping that one of these fishers just is like, here, take this rod for free. Each day brings something new. Yep. Just selling worms again, okay. I really want to go meet this animal. Should I? Oh, maybe I shouldn't run at it. That's probably not a good idea. That's probably not a good idea. Can I? Can I talk to you? No. Nothing. Oh, I can run right through you, though. Barberries, nice. Oh, I'm going a weird direction. I need to go south. I want to go check out this cute little hout. 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 This cute little hut.
Okay. Real friendly people over here. Jeez. Does the walking stick actually do anything, or is it just cool? Oh. Gives you plus one to mechanics. Well, that's good. I'm gonna eat this berry. I need all the helps with mechanics I can get. Is that a dandelion? Oh my god, that cow's running. It's coming after me. God, this game is so great. What did you pick up as the free skill point? I pick mystics because I like... Um, Spell casting and stuff. It's kind of why I picked this um, character too, the Moss Walker. Uh, they seem like the closest thing to druid ish. Well, there's music playing over here. Oh, what is this? What am I seeing? It's a really popular... Yeah, the only other player I've seen in the game so far was a Moss Walker. Dry. Jeez, game. Take it easy. Attend. I'm attending. I wish I could make tea. The fate of the wave gin. just slurp at the ASMR in this game. It's too much. It's too much. Okay, we're just gonna enjoy oh no. We're just gonna enjoy this story. Cargo overturning as Whoa. We fell from valley wave to valley wave. Snack vendor. got snack boy not programmed from the play the fate of the wave gin this guy's just selling programs oh I stood up by accident I want to talk to this guy the functioneer
not part of the play and neither are my wards, the oxen. Please try not to disturb the play. Best you take a seat and enjoy the performance. Oh. That's what I was doing. Oh no, don't get that close. That's awkward. Awkward. They're not doing anything, though. The end. Now can I interrupt? Oh. My bad. Follow this road to the cute little house. They're still gasping and stuff. The play's over, people. What do I want to? Shields you from the weather or unwanted looks. Okay. Just like all legs. All legs. Same with all these other people. Sheepies. Cute. Oh, what is that thing running back there? That looked terrifying. Oh, there's a sign. I can read the sign now. Hello, vineyard. Hello, vineyard. Looks freaking deserted. Tangled plants. Strength. This place does not look like a healthy abode. Oh, that's it? I thought I could like cook. Oh, but it was giving me warmth. Okay. Well, I haven't experienced nighttime at all. So. I don't know what it's like when you get cold. Oh, that tree? Crocus roots. Oh, I think this is the edge.
edge of the map. Thicket. There's a grave over here. Let's have a little pray, shall we? Oh, or not. Whoa. Bundle of wilted flowers. Bottle of musty perfume and a sick bag. Nice. What? Cursed. But it curves me. Oh, it's starting to rain. Ooh, bushes. Char Nightshade. Oh. Well, let's just freaking eat it. YOLO. You know what I mean? Hopefully nothing in this game poisons you. Although I just got cursed, so... I would not be surprised. If you could get poisoned as well. Clothes are soaked. Yeah, I don't want to look up this ability. Part sea creature. Your body rejuvenates if you engulf yourself in water long enough. I can't sit. can't do anything here. Okay, where am I going? Eyes of the sky. That sounds cool. Let's go check out that. Maybe if it's just a little puddle. They use the term engulf. I feel like they do that on purpose. There's a lady over here.
so many things chiming. Okay, this stuff I can pick up because I have goes into my sack. was a person here a second ago, right? Oh, they're there. Mysterious figure. Good day, traveler. Pay you attention to the clouds. They appear to be narratives in their shapes and movements. Long have I studied them, only to discover more questions. What is their true nature? Are they vapor herded by the winds? The bird-like boat peoples are... Oh no! Are said to follow a holy cloud. I hope one day to meet and speak with one of their number. Okay, I need to turn the music down. Because I like the audio of the game. So I turn that up, but the music's just a little too much. Alright, that basket over there. Smelly vest. can't place an item with a pocket in another pocket. Intriguing. Okay, not that. I need this one. Oh, they're different mushrooms. Okay. I wish it was simpler to access the pockets. Who's that? Bitter Road Warden? Had you been with us, surely you would consider that the city to exist outside of common time and space. Its many colored banners of free floating lights, the mighty land of striders crossing the street with each step, pavement of glittering crystal, bath chambers engulfed in vanilla scented steam. Delicious dishes sparkling of fire and ice. Right, they did despawn on me. Just walked into oblivion. Maybe it was like a ghost person. What do you got? 
Oh. Six pockets. Okay, please don't walk away from me when I'm trying to buy your stuff. Okay, I definitely don't need that. Do I care about the umbrella? Oh, my face just got really itchy. Um, okay, we're still trading, but you're like way over there now. What does my current backpack have? Okay, I don't want these stupid sandals. No, I should really save these goods for... I need to learn things. I need to learn weapon. Oh no. I'm too dumb. Mystic brew recipe puzzle. I don't know what to call it. It's not a puzzle. Oh, that's like a sheep farm or something. doing this is full this is not full I don't know when I like need to build a shelter. I guess maybe it'll let you sleep through the night? No, but it's a persistent time of day. Well, let's just try it. Am I just like supposed to maybe wait out the rainstorm? You 
You couldn't make a fire without a shelter during rain, for example. Oh, okay. So if I really needed a fire... But that's the thing, is, like, I can't cook anything on the fire, can I? I guess it's good for, like... Regaining your stamina, but you could just, um... Okay, don't curse me. Oh my god! Need seven? Seven needed mystic altar. Dang! Okay, that is a puzzle and a half. Teas require fire. Okay. So I just have a lot of stuff I need to, like, learn. But I'm hoping that um, if you get soaked, find a source of heat to dry yourself and your gear. Okay. Um, I'm hoping that I just, like, can collect some more stuff. Although, now I'm at full capacity, so... Mist Keeper's Toe? Ew. There is like a tower to the north. for this altar. to go. Okay. Chasing things that make noises into unknown territory is probably not that safe. Oh no. Oh. It's like a bush spirit thing.
Okay, let's see if we can go north and then... Although that does look an awful lot like a tower on fire. Hopefully they're okay. Oh, hell yeah. It's a town. Hello. You can open a locked container. My price would be the container itself. Its contents, whatever they may be, will all be yours. Oh. Yes. Good day. The inlet connects the crying coast to the verve. Trade ships from OV Talif go by here on their way to Bat Saha and New Foundry. Illegal goods are gathered up and shipped to the government storehouse in one of the capitals. Those smaller amounts of contraband we might torch here on the spot. Damn. Okay, do you guys have any, like, vendors or anything? There's a box right here, lady. Communication with prisoners strictly prohibited. We see all no Good day. Most of the ships and barges we check are run by law abiding folk. But I can't help but con be continually disappointed in how often we find a piece of cargo or two that has been forgotten about in a skipper's manifest. They mostly come at night. Those who cheat the council out of its rightful import and trade taxes, not to mention those greedy irresponsibles who try to bring in prohibited goods. Damn greedy irresponsibles. Oh, there's so many little locked boxes around. Oh, there's really no one here to trade with? Maybe I need to wait for those irresponsibles. Cat has a rusty lock and chain around its neck. What? Does need unlocking? I mean, the cat needs some help. Please. Bring it to you. I can't pick these up, can I? How am I supposed to bring that to her? Oh, who's this? Random lady behind the rock. You might call me a whale enthusiast of narwhals in particular. I could talk your ear off about them if you don't stop me. Did I remember to greet you? My name is Gwyn. 
spend all my time at the university hiking up and down the coastline studying the habits of the narwhals. Did you know that the narwhal's horn can be as long as a full-grown person? And they lack dorsal fins? Is a predator? It's actually a tooth? They could be a hundred years old. Prefer to hunt in Arctic waters. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to find any trading to do here. Maybe I should go that way? Custom station. Bunch of little kids effing around. Oh, it's a person. Poor Smith. You didn't have to walk through the water, my guy. Double, what is that called again? Ward. Double ward, double burden, and this one's just double burden. Remind me of myself when I was younger. My name is Eve. Most call me the Poor Smith. Roads can be dangerous for those. I want to do my small part in keeping wanderers like you safe. If you have any metal on you, I could be happy to make some simple armor free of charge. It's the least I can do. Good day. Oh, okay. That's all she is willing to do. Dang it. Oh, it's the same value. I was dumb. Okay, we'll go back this way. It's the only way out of this, right? I mean, there's like a lodge looking image at the forest, so maybe. Game is shaming me because I'm not proficient enough.
Part of the journey, getting proficient. Heck yeah. Oh, there's a small altar. Oh, it only needs four? Four mystic needed altar. I mean, I'm excited for that part of the journey, like slowly learning things. What's the level cap even? Store things in train master's chests found at most railroad stations. Nice. There's no level cap, but realistically, it takes too long to progress at some point. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I think I want to try to go to that lodge first. I feel like the music's still a little too loud. Every level takes 1.6 times the XP of the previous one. Oh, okay. I mean, when does it start to feel like you're not making progress? Like, what level do you get to? I really don't want to fight. I'm not proficient in anything. So, hopefully there's no scary things in these woods. Is this nighttime? Is this as dark as it gets? Ten comes by reasonably fast. After that, I felt it. Maybe twelve. Your highest is fifteen. Oh. Okay. I mean, that doesn't feel too bad. I'm at, what, three now? Almost four? And I've just been enjoying myself for like four hours? Pretty good. Where's the lodge? Oh, it's across the water. Maybe I should see if I can... Maybe it has to be a certain type of water to trigger my ability. No, well, it definitely just says water. Of course this is like an abandoned freaking place. Do you know a spell? I don't. He'll come beat me up. Cultivated laborer. We were just having some tea. Won't you join us? Many seasons ago, the house of Jessim was quite a bit less humble than it is today. Two merchant union leaders have come and gone among my ancestors. We have since joined with the Hands Union. Oh.
What? Where did all of our items go? Vial of flower mark. Where's that creepy little thing again? Okay, well... I feel like I need to go to... I need to go to some sort of town so that I can trade all this random stuff I've gathered. This isn't actually nighttime though, is it? Because... Is there a way to tell what time of day it is? You can press the right alt button for the debug menu. It tells you the time. Oh. Oh, jeez. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh God. That sounded like a bear. Go around. Don't talk to the bear. I only happen to know because there's a spell that casts a random spell, and I saw it that way. Uh, oh, sorry. I missed the other. Though there is also a spell for it, but it can't be obtained. I only know because there's a spell that casts a random spell, and I saw it that way. Oh. Well, that's cool. A spell that casts a random spell. Trade value is not absolute for a variety of reasons. Some might value particular. Oh. Allen Rock Coast. So I think I want to go to that north exit up there.
Ooh. Crane feather, that's cool. this water. Does this trigger it? What is that weird clinking sound? Can you sit in the water? Maybe that's right. I can't. It like shuts off the rest action. Oh, it's this little guy. Ah. Oh, okay. It doesn't want. It doesn't want to f with me. I think this game is really, really neat. Um. I'm going to keep playing it for sure, even off stream. Yeah, I kind of want to Google that ability and see if someone else has figured it out. It may be one of those things where it's like they haven't actually implemented it yet, and I just pick wasted a, a skill. 22 bucks. I can make room for that. Three dollars, two dollars. Boo. Oh, how do you swap it out? Oh, you just mean, like, don't memorize it or whatever? Yeah, I haven't, uh... I haven't actually found any other skills that take up knowledge points, so... I've got no need right now, but I will definitely do that. If I can't figure it out. I just want to, uh... Figure it out, you know? Okay, this doesn't tell me where I'm going, does it? This does. Travel to crossings. That's a town, right? Yeah, I'll definitely kick that spell to the curb if I can't figure it out. Oh my gosh. Hey. Level three. Well, or sorry, level four. House under the tree. Exciting. Let's go find some knowledge. Somebody train me. I'm an idiot. City visitor. I thought those were like bloody handprints on that rock for a second. Freaked me out. Okay, let's go see what this is over her. House under the tree. Okay. Oh, it's a tea house keeper. Tea house under the tree. I get it. I would like to train. Oh god. Dang. They got some good weapons here. Oh. What was that noise? 
But they don't have any training, which is a bummer. What is this place? Shopkeeper. Uh, okay. They have backpacks and paper parasols. This is for the sun, right? Yeah. Ooh, a torch. Do they have any training? Oh. Wind shelter fireplace. I have those already. Thanks for your business. Like what? There's no point in cobalt guys. Oh, so you can change the color of your stuff. It's just very expensive. Um, there's no like the only thing that I the I'm that matter in this is like the pockets, right? Oh, I guess maybe the ward. Oh, speed. In regards to healing, every wind has its way to deal with it and East does it best. Very self-sustained. Um, can you elaborate on that a little bit? What do you mean? Healing as in, like, regaining energy, eating food and stuff. Because I think that's why I kind of took the... Um, that skill that I did, because I wanted to... Um, I wanted to be self-sustaining a bit. Eighteen hundred dollars. There's no one here that can train me. I guess I could, could go all the way back to that starting zone. What exactly do you want to know? As far as like training goes or... I was just wondering what you mean by why East has the best way to deal with healing. Because I think like that's why I chose that skill is because I wanted to be good at healing. But I can't figure out how to trigger it so... Photographers. Oh, what is that? Lemonade. They can summon fruit trees eventually. Oh. That's pretty cool, actually. Eat these chickens. Technically everyone can, but I doubt a non-east would take it. I, don't know. I think I get what you're saying. What do you need? 
I need someone to teach me how to be better at living life. The free fire and shelter? Oh, you mean like if I were a different origin, I wouldn't have been able to use these for free? Because I had to buy these. Oh, what is this? What is happening? Oh, I get it. Mystic arm. Pulling open this knot highlights the ground and draws a line in for others to see. Ardent lantern. Unbinding this knot will conjure up a warm, friendly lantern that will follow you, the knot binder, around and light your way. These are like one time uses? No. This is a. These are spells that I can learn, right? I kind of like some of these. Uh, we'll seek out the nearest shelter. What was that thing I needed? I need to find a specific type of shelter in order to recall, right? Ahead, a signal light that rests in place some way in front of the knot binder. It's at 17. Oh, this trader's value is 25. Okay. I just want to get as close to... There we go. Straight up trade. Um. Maybe they sold me that stuff for... Or they paid more for my stuff because I won that charisma ability or whatever. So I think I have to travel all the way back to that starting place. I'm not finding anyone around. Um, that's able to 
help train me, so I need to figure that out. Because I think before I get myself stuck in a situation where I might need to fight or I might need to do something, um, I should probably do that instead. I hate that it doesn't keep walking if you open up a menu. Like, I want to be able to click on something far away, have them walk, and then do other things while they're walking. A no man's rest. That's what I need. Oh, my camera's in the way. In order to go back to the Dandelion Temple to fast travel, I need to find a no man's rest. Where's the train station? What's up there? The train is here, go! Who's this person? <sighs> Do I need to buy a pass to get on the train? Hey. I guess we don't. Didn't that old station ma master at the last train station we found, um, didn't he like want us to buy something? Like a pass? Oh, maybe that was for the ferry. Never mind. Pass is just priority tickets, same with the boat ticket. Boats only have two people with tickets. Oh. So if like other people show up and are waiting for the thing, you should buy a pass. That's smart. Smart. Okay. Wait, are we not stopping here? Oh, it turns around. Okay. Oof. Freaked me out for a second. Um, so I'm going to head back to the starting zone, um, but I think I might call it there for the stream today. This has been so much fun. Um, this is kind of exactly what I needed was just like a fun game to... Wait, is there no boat that comes here? Yeah, okay. Uh, it was just a fun game to like learn and experiment with and, and try to understand. And I think that this game is almost exactly what I thought it was going to be in the best way possible. Um, oh, Synth, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, it doesn't get consumed, but it will take an inventory slot. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, that's very very fun and cool way to 
to make traveling with potentially too many people uh, giving somebody priority. I think that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I think I just kind of want to wrap up my thoughts on Book of Travels so far. Uh, this Usually I end these like first bite kind of uh, first looks by saying whether or not I'm going to keep playing it because that is usually a pretty good tell on my initial reaction to the game. And I think that this game by far is something I'm going to keep playing, especially when I just need to like zen out and wander. I think this is a really beautiful game. Um, it's only going to get better as early access continues to go along. So I think it's, it's really palpable. The ASMR and environment is really vibrant in your ears and the visuals are obviously stunning. Um, it's just a different flavor. And I remember watching the announcement trailers for this. Um, and thinking that that's kind of exactly what I was in for. And to be, to be proven right um, is such a dream. Because, you know, we play a lot of video games. We play really serious ones. I'm a very competitive person, so I play a lot of games that kind of can get stressful. So, and I also have a fairly stressful job sometimes. Um... And I think that having a game exactly like this is so cool. Um, I would love it if I could convince my partner to try it with me and we could adventure together. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, since, do you know offhand, just because I have you here, if there's like controller support? I, I've finally convinced my partner to use a PC for everything so that she has access to more games but I can't really convince her to use mouse and keyboard um, you don't know okay well we'll try it out and we'll see I think this would be a really fun exploration game for us to just chill and and kind of explore if you're interested in something that's mellow so far I mean obviously there's combat in this game there's PvP I believe as well um if you're looking for something that has these things, check out Book of Travels. It's a really unique kind of class system, plus its own universe. There's magic, there's um, there's other players. You can randomly meet other players earlier in this video. Um, we met a random person and we were just kind of exploring with them and checking things out and trying to communicate as best we could with the little emotes that you get. Um, and I think that that's one of the, the beauties of this game is the limited uh, communication that you get. But it's also kind of just about wandering and meeting new people and um, you, you can meet new people and, and inspect new things and find new puzzles. Uh, I'm only four hours in and I'm so excited to continue to to play and discover more um, and yeah thank you so much for watching this for the few people that stopped by on the stream thank you so much for being here uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later definitely let me know in the comments if this is a game that you're interested in uh, what you like about it. If you're a veteran, let me know and say hi. Otherwise, it would mean the world to me if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, like this video. Again, if you're watching this live, I thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Um, know that you deserve all of the love and you take up the right amount of space. Don't be afraid to take up your space. Be kind to one another. Um, you know, try to say something nice the next time you lock eyes in the mirror. I have a hard time with, with mirrors and been trying to practice more, uh, not, not even affirmations, but just 
trying not to observe the things I find that are negative inherently. Um, so, so try your best to do that. Be kind to other people, and I hope you see some cute dogs, and I hope you eat something delicious. Pay attention to those tiny moments for the next couple of days and find find some small things to really bask in and enjoy. So I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. <laughs>